Hey, what is up, guys? It's Athena. In today's video, I have a video about positioning for you guys to help you guys win more ranked games in Solo Raid Year 7 Season 4. I'm going to be breaking it down to four chapters for you guys, explaining on defense and offense with five in game map examples. Now, be sure to watch until the end because this might help you win your next ranked game. And if you find this video helpful, be let's try to hit 1,000 likes. I would greatly appreciate it. So, the first thing we want to talk about is map control. Now, if you're a noob to this game, maybe new a little bit, uh, map control basically just means uh, point of power and also how long can you stall out that time so that's more for defense so on uh, defense for example a good point of map control if i was on third floor it would be the pixel of uh, cocktail so an example of map control on defense would be holding control of pixel in cigar on a bomb site like uh cocktail you know the bomb site's over there but the reason why we extend out a little bit is that way it stalls out time we want to hold onto this room as long as we can and if we can that's a good piece of map control for defense because we stalled out the attack now on attack what does map control look like uh is it just taking a certain part of the map not quite exactly now let's say if the bomb site is hookah bomb site right a big mistake people make is sitting outside this hookah door the entire round and the only map control that you have is just outside and just this single door right here you don't get a lot of angles into sight so instead a good piece of map control for hookah or any other bomb site would be how does this piece of map control contribute to my plant uh, if that's a hard question to answer, then you're probably taking the wrong part of the map. So, for example, why would I want to take below an office? Uh, that way I can nade below. I can make sure no one flanks us below. Um, and also, you know, declaring out the roamers. And we take control of Aqua up here. That way we can cover the plants by planting on the default right here. Default on the bomb right there. So, understand on attack how does the map control contribute to the bomb plant this will help you keep it minimal and also save you a lot of time during your droning and attack strategies moving on to number two we have how to play the clock correctly the clock is a key to your positioning and a lot of good players use the clock as a measurement okay where should i be in the round for example let's say on a kitchen roam let's do a full map roam clear that way you understand so i know the timer timer is a little bit longer up top but let's say it's a you want to roam the full map right uh so we start at three minutes right every rank game is around three minutes uh in the first minute you want to make sure that you stay alive as a defender so you're taking a little bit less uh risky gunfights you start on the third floor maybe you get droned out or two and then now it's time to reposition when you get droned out on a roam you always want to reposition if you get checked out because the attackers are going to use the last piece of info where you were last at so you don't want to give them an advantage um towards you want to waste around a minute 30 on the roam uh ideally so around a minute 30 is exactly when you keep uh, be like okay what is the uh, enemy's attack um and then that's where you kind of start analyzing your final positioning so three minutes you know figure out where they're pushing in from around two minutes uh two minutes on the clock then that's be like okay you know let me start uh slowly giving up map control because you want to stall out remember and uh around a minute this is when okay is my roam effective do i want to flank or do i want to commit to the bomb uh the bomb site like anchoring so having this mental thing of like okay the clock is at this time this tells me if we can get the the clock to zero without them planting the bomb we win obviously so keep that in mind and be like okay am i contributing to stalling out from uh denying the bomb plant and you can either dedicate to coming back to site or you can dedicate to a roam but obviously use the clock to influence your decisions on the defense all right, now moving on to attack for the timer and how to play the clock. I'm actually going to uh, show you the exactly full out round. Uh, no edits, no cuts. So be sure to watch the entire part. So um, at the beginning, where am I? Uh, where do I want to enter the building? So time management, you know, 2 minutes 44, you want to start getting. This is where your drone wants to start getting inside the building. Once you join everything out. Like we, like we talked about, figure out what pieces of map control and do it in a short amount of time. So my first objective is, all right, uh, two minutes, you know, I'm getting inside the building, set up my flanks, um, you know, get inside the building, just do your normal setup. Uh, you know, let's like keep the clock ticking down. Let's say you're taking gunfights, you're still joining everything. Like I said, no edits, no cuts is exactly the blueprint you want to follow. Use the first minute of the round to get yourself inside the building. And this is where you would start uh, keeping keeping the enemy in front of you while taking the map control at the same time. That way you don't have to be outside the entire time lost. So, all right. Minute 50. 
This is where we should be already inside the building by now. If you're still outside, it has to be very situational. Okay, minute 45. Uh, what's our man account, man advantage looking like? Do we have to get aggressive for kills? Do we have to hunt down roamers? Where is the weak spot on the bomb site? Uh, weak spot on the bomb site is that they have a person playing pink bar, maybe a uh, hookah side, and maybe one roamer below. All right, boom, boom. We kill the guy below, right? We kill any roamers below. And let's say moving on to our next step. All right. During this time of the round, you do not want to be stalling out. Just because you have a lot of time does not mean, okay, you know, I'm just going to sit here and do nothing. Minute left. All right. Minute left. We don't have a lot of time to go chase any roamers. Let's start setting up our push. Where do we want to plant? I want to plant on Aqua Default. Okay. Minute left. All right. All the roamers are dead. Um, It's a 3v3 right now, right? All right, let's go ahead and drone our next piece of map control. I don't need to go up white. Don't need to do none of that. Uh, very situational. Remember, it takes seven seconds to plant the bomb. Do not be afraid to use your time. I'm going to keep myself going in. All right. I have figured out exactly what I need to do. You see how I'm not taking like any aggressive bad gunfights? I'm always putting myself in that advantage. 30 seconds left. All right, I'm going to plant the bomb. You cover me. Okay, would it be ideal to cover you like this or to cover you with natural map cover like this? You know, think about this, these kind of things with experience. And then you see how I'm a lot more organized. I'm always on the next step. Use the clock. Okay, I have a minute left, two minute. You know, when you play the game, use the clock to your advantage on attack. Do not sleep on it or else you'll be a baiting twitch on the roof. Hard sucking gold never getting better at the game. All right, moving on to my third point I have is uh, gunfights. Now that you kind of know about map positioning, okay, how do I position myself better in gunfights? The number one question I get asked the most is probably, okay, should I be crouching? Should I be standing in a gunfight? Moral of the story, you should be standing most of the time because a lot of people in ranks nowadays have really terrible cross replacement and they're aiming like this. So if you're crouching, they're going to automatically headshot you on accident and you don't want to do that. So be head level. Um, but on defense, how should you take gunfights on defense? Um, remember, like I said, use those points of map control. You should be in an important spot of map control. Um, but this applies for attack and defense is understanding peekers advantage as well as perspective. For example, uh, would it be harder to take a gunfight maybe like... Would it be smart to be like this in a gunfight or would it be smart to be right here and then as i hear him walking up then i'm swinging on him if you don't know what peeker's advantage means peeker's advantage basically means you see them before they see you because you're the one moving forward at them servers are pretty laggy nowadays so use that little extra few milliseconds to help you win gunfights um defense i would say is my best tip for you is to look at the clock remember you look at the clock and on defense you know you think about okay where should i be um you can use this because for example would it be harder to take a gunfight with a dude on the rappel? Let's see like this, right? If he's upside down rappel, I have no idea. Would it be harder to fight him out here? Or would it be smarter to wait here? Okay, he has 20 seconds left. He has to walk in. His only option is to expose his body here and use Pager's advantage like that. So you take smart gunfights by understanding, okay, should I be the one swinging? Or what's my positioning look looking like? Am I... A very killable situation like this um use natural cover as well if you use natural cover hiding yourself like this maybe here like you know with using head glitches um for example also like this as well it's i don't want to be like right here taking gunfights i want to be natural cover i'm a hard target right here boom it's a lot easier to keep them in front of me all right now moving on to attack attack is a little bit more aggressive than defense obviously because you're the one pushing onto their defense so the war one of the worst things you could probably do as an attacker is play way too slow if you play way too fast then at least a little bit easier to dial it down even attack or defense take gunfights off of information not just face checking all the time because that's not consistent but if you have information of a call out you see him on a camera for example let's say um i'm joining this right here right and there's a guy standing right in front of this window i have the advantage so you know if i'm the one you know 
pushing off that info. I'm using my pig advantage and I'm pre firing that as well. So having direction on your attack is very, very good. And a lot of you guys, when you're coming up in the ranks, defenders are scared out of their minds most of the time. They're a little, they're, you know, they're just scared as you, as you are to them. But for example, like remember what we're talking about here, right? You are probably most likely going to win the gunfight if you were confident and you just swing up and pre fire this guy right here rather than, you know, jiggling up and down like this, you know, unsure yourself. Just be confident and fully commit to your swings. But on attack, you should be moving off of mostly information off of drones, callouts, and the map control like we talked about. But be careful. Do not W key all the time. Sometimes you have to hold angles on attack and let the... Because nowadays, people are so aggressive on defense. If you just hold, you know, put yourself in a safe position and hold like a common peak... You might find yourself an easy kill coming to those like this. So on attack, if you want to take smarter decisions uh, or gunfights, then play passive until you get information of where to go. For example, like, you know, if uh, if I don't know if someone's on red, I'm going to hold this angle right here, have my teammate drone it. And when I know he's there, then I'm going to swing and play aggressive. But I don't want to play too aggressive if I don't know a lot of information about a room. So moving on to the next point, we have man advantage and pacing of the round. This is probably the most important tip i can give you the entire video if you can match your pacing with how the enemy is playing and overall your teammates this will help your positioning so much better because you're almost in the right position all the time because your teammates and the attackers if you're just kind of mirroring their energy then you're gonna be a lot more ready for those gunfights for example if they're playing super aggressive and they're just rushing out of sight play a little closer exactly where they're gonna come from so if this guy rushes up pantry every single time then match their energy swing them right meet them right when you don't they don't expect you to do that or maybe on defense let's say you're in a 3v5 that is a good indicator okay it's time for me to get aggressive and i can't just sit in a corner like this all the day and sit here this is pretty bad positioning right here just because you look safe does not mean you are safe you might feel safe tucked in this corner they can't see me you know you can't see you but don't be doing this use the versus notifications as an indicator okay do i need to get aggressive or do I need to stay passive? Usually the rule of thumb, if you have man advantage, play a little more passive. If you don't have man advantage, then start looking for a little bit more risky gunfights because you need to take those in order to even out the man count. And then moving on to the last thing is the pacing of your team on defense. Um, I'll explain on attack in a second, but the pacing of your team, if you're going against an aggressive team, then make yourself a little bit match up that pace. Don't play a little bit too slow. Um, instead, you know, be the one swinging them, bring traps, bring and match their aggression but let's say if your team is the one being aggressive then be aggressive with them you know if you are passive in an aggressive team they're going to be making all the plays in sight and you're kind of just like a lone wolf off of, off of the team and sometimes they will need that aggression it's better if you guys all die as a team rather than working in separate parts but it depends on solo queue there's a lot of different factors that go into that now a little bonus for attack is um also not putting yourself in such a killable situation for positioning wise when you play the game a lot more uh and then you start you begin to realize okay people normally tend to come to this part of the map pretty often for example on a trophy default bomb site right and they go right here it's very very common for an attacker to swing out like this right and be in this position all the defenders are going to point your gun this way so once you kind of understand where like the common places are on on uh defense to look at then you could be like okay well if i was on defense i would probably be looking at this door which means my back is facing up against this side so as a, as an attacker you can be like okay well if i want to try to sneak up on the enemy or try to find a weak spot then this is the perfect place to exploit it this will like naturally give you the advantage because it's a lot easier to shoot someone in the back of the head rather than taking a gunfight on them head on but the same rule applies to remember what i said on man uh deep uh, man advantage if i am out here droning and maybe like a minute left minute 30 left on the clock my team is taking gunfights at master the breach is open my teammates are about to push in here I most likely would not want to be out here too much. I want to be right behind them, you know, in a refragable situation to get their trade. If they're playing aggressive on attack. I want to push in with them. It's kind of just like second nature. If your teammate's being aggressive, it's best that you try to back him up. Obviously, you don't have to just because he's doing it if it's a dumb decision, but it's best if you almost bait your teammate. Sometimes you kind of have to, to get that trade anyways. Learn how to be a magnet to your teammates uh, when they're taking parts of map control. This will uh, prevent a lot of 
uh, solo picks and give you a lot more kills in the round. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if it did help you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. Um, like this with this video for positioning is literally all of my knowledge. Try some of these tips out. Think about it in your next gameplay. Pay attention to the clock and I'll see you in the next video.